Right, so let's see what we have for Virgo Sun, Moon, and as well rising July uh, 20th to 26th in terms of career. Uh, that will be the first reading in this video. So let me shuffle. Right, so the first one we have for you, uh, Virgo, that will be the Temperance. Moving next, we do have the Lover's Car, uh, followed by the Tree of Swords. And the last one, uh, in terms of career, that is going to be Judgment. Wow, all right. So, uh, Virgo, this uh, this week, in terms of your career, now should you have a job, uh, it will be suffused and dappled with many, many chores to a point where you may feel overwhelmed by them. I mean, it's it's not going to be a, a bursting of glee and happiness type of a week in your career. I, it will, I would rather classify it as a quite annoying and uh, aggravating week where you will have to clean some messes around, you know, and you have to tackle with, uh, say, things that are not your line of work as well but nonetheless this week like said uh, according to those cards is going to be um, related to accomplishing chores within the career and uh, doing things that you would rather not do at all there i mean you would rather ha spend your time for a more productive enterprises and endeavors than the chores that are to be presented to you now before we go further let's show the cards one more time here so we do have temperance with the lovers uh followed by the tree of swords and in the last one here that will be the justice so uh virgo now because we do have the lovers into the second position it does point that you have no choice whatsoever of course you do always have a choice right but um I mean, you have no choice to tackle with those with those chores if you do want to stay at work. You may decide not to tackle with the chores, but that means that you are going to end up jobless at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, uh, that being said, guys, uh, the week itself, it, it's just it's ridiculous. But uh, the week itself, it will be a week where you're going to feel yourself with your back against the wall all right and at some point as well because the tree of swords here it is into the positive into the positive position yeah into the third position of the reading um you may start kind of thinking of, of what have i done wrong you know to to deserve that thing i mean I, I, and within some of you even that concept is going to start um dwelling that on purpose or rather like your boss is giving you those chores on purpose because they are kind of like preparing you for a layoff or for being fired not at all not at all at all uh, the very core the majority of the cores of the reasons why you will have to tackle with those chores is so y y your boss or your supervisor is to see how capable you are and can you manage because with the temperance here it all comes to that do you have what it takes to find the right measurements to get the job done okay so that is what is going to be your test that is going to be your challenge throughout the week and if you bend under pressure or you outburst because you are not agree with the chores you have to undertake and you have to tackle then obviously you don't have what it takes to proceed forward with the biggest challenges that this company you're working at has uh, to offer now on a plus side here the more you tackle with the chores the more the better you are going to become with the line of work so it's kind of like improving yourself constantly because with the tree of swords on that third position one is performing exceptionally well and one is working on the back seat when one is working as their back is against the wall and uh Another positive trait of the Tree of Swords here it is that you are going to understand who is by your side in terms of a career allegiance. And uh, finally, uh, should you be able to kind of like sort your chores out appropriately? In other words, you give 
the uh, sense of emergency to the one that does require it straight away, but you do not lean to those kind of enterprises that you would enjoy to do, although other chores, so-called, does require your immediate attention. That will prove you quite capable for a bigger project, for promotions, raise, and so on and so forth, because that's what the justice is all about. At the end, you are to be adjudicated how accurately you are able to get the job for the job's sake and not for your own personal sake. Now, those who are looking for a work here, um, <clears throat> according to those cards, they are not going to have the luxury to choose and to decide. And should they have... Uh, a chance to start the job throughout the week they are to be mon monitorized through a, a microscope so everything is going to be assessed so you cannot get away with the small let's say flaws or leaks that you do have uh, from previous jobs or from your uh, cvs or how do you say it, the other the other thing portfolios all right so make sure that you do um, make your application by the book and you do not miss anything there because that may be the reason why you are not going to get the job. So let's uh, now have a look uh, in terms of your uh, relationship. One card fell down, guys. Sorry. So the first one is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Ace of Swords, followed by the Five of Swords. And then the last one, that is to be uh, the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So those four cards. And uh, unlike career, the relationship uh, life for you within the next week looks uh, rather fairly stable. Now, uh, those who are looking for a, a relationship, I would only say here that uh, they are uh, the best option available for them is already around them. OK, so they don't have to look very far in order to see who can offer them a, a certain and secure, comfortable and established future for that is. But they cannot expect that the things is going that the thing is going to develop over a one night it is rather a very long and slow process so uh, that being said whenever you identify that guy or a girl it doesn't really matter you need to take the things slowly steady bit by bit and rather take it easy okay uh, those who are in a relationship, now this is going to be a, a very positive week for you guys because uh, you're going to talk about a lot of things that are, uh, how can I say, um, a core of an issues. But unlike talking with them with the usual aggression that uh, people were talking to each other once they find that the other one is, guilt is guilty of something, right? I uh, hear the approach from you and your partner is going to be rather very much more milder. Why? Well, we do have the five of, uh, five of Swords into a third position. And in this particular case, it serves the role where you do understand how far you can stretch your influence and your partner understands that. So as soon as you become a little bit more aggressive than needed, you are going to understand that that serves no purpose whatsoever. In fact, it does... Um, how do you say it? Maybe relinquish the relationship more than it consolidates it, right? So uh, the, the sole purpose of why you and your person of interest or you or you and your partner, regardless of if that's going to be a husband or a wife or a uh, relationship partner, uh, that you're going to lead those conversations is so you can uh, see for yourself and identify how far that marriage or relationship can go further. And is that marriage or a, a relationship going to offer you the steady and certain and secure future that you would want for yourself, children and in generally for your life? 
Now, in the majority of the cases, that is going to be rather very true, that you and your partner are going to establish some certain code of conduct, or rather like a steps, you know, how your marriage can improve, how your marriage, how your marriage can become what you both want. And here it is about what you both want. It is not just only what you want, okay? Uh, on a plus note as well, a lot of reasons why you felt humiliated or why your partner felt humiliated as well is going to be buried, buried beneath the ground. So literally we can say that you are going to bury the hatchets here throughout this week and instead of um, kind of like hurting each other constantly with, with whatever stipulations or whatever statements, here instead what you're going to do is you're going to create a plan. And as the week progresses, you are going to start executing this plan that is going to lead you to an immaculate and meticulously well-performed relationship moving forward into the future. But what is important is to attend to the minor details because within the minor details of the relationship you are finding yourself at, it is hidden the key that is going to set that relationship free. And under free, I mean the way that you both want it. So do not attend yourself so much to the overview right now, but rather try to work over or work out those minor details that are posing threat and that are posing predicaments to you and to your partner. For example, things you dislike in their character, things they do, they, things they dislike in your character, all right? Uh, things they do, uh, small things here and there, but they are kind of like stacking up and as well from your side either. So it's all about identifying truly what could be the reason for you to, uh, to break that relationship and truly what is to be the reason your partner is going to break the relationship and you talk about it and you find a solution to it before that reason actually escalates. So that being said, Virgo, that was your weekly uh, general career and love tarot reading for July uh, 20th to 26th. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you like it, guys, and we may see each other next time. Till then, bye.